My name is Jerry Avorn. I'm the chief of the Division of Pharmacoepidemiology and Pharmacoeconomics at the Brigham and Women's Hospital and professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School. Our division looks at the benefits and the risks and the costs of medications as they are used in routine care and tries to figure out what is the best balance between a drug's efficacy, its safety issues, its cost effectiveness as a guide to what ought to be prescribed. Our mission is to really help uh, doctors uh, sort through the issues of which drugs work better than others, which are the best value for a, a healthcare system that's constrained with economic pressures, uh, which ones are the safest, and what can we learn about how those interact. We really are, are the only division of pharmacoepidemiology and pharmacoeconomics that sits in a department of medicine in a major academic teaching center. Uh, it was kind of an innovation when we were formed back in 1998, but it's really worked very well because we have both the clinical focus, because so many of us are people who have engaged in patient care, but we also have some very, very strong epidemiologists and statisticians and computer computer experts, and so it's that bringing together of the clinical emphasis and the quantitative emphasis that really enables us to get the work done that we do in, in terms of trying to put some numbers on issues that doctors and patients face every day about drugs. A great deal of our current work revolves around trying to nail down how safe or risky a given drug class is. So, for example, in a paper we had in the New England Journal of Medicine not long ago, we looked at whether it's safe for pregnant women with depression to take antidepressants because they had been concerned about it causing heart problems in the, uh, in the child. And we were able to show that, no, that is not a risk. A lot of our research is based on data sets of literally millions of people for whom we strip off all identifiers, but we can then look at what medications they took, what complications they had, what benefits they got. And with very big computers and very big data sets, we're able to do some very powerful research on what happens when people take a certain drug or class of drugs in terms of the benefit they get or any side effects they may be having in a way that you really can't do in a uh, relatively small clinical trial that might have been the basis for the drugs being approved uh, by the FDA back when it was first on the market. Our plan is to advance the whole area of uh, drug safety research and drug comparative effectiveness research. Ever since Vioxx was taken off the market because it turned out to double the risk of heart attack and stroke and nobody knew it, or it appears nobody knew it, uh, there's been a real national agenda to be able to learn much more about medications uh, than we do just from their pre-approval studies. So our agenda is to really push that forward